morning, everyone. Welcome to Sober Healing. So today, um, I want to talk about the healing that I went through this week. It was a big one. And before we get started, I just wanted to ask you guys to please, if you are enjoying this journey with me and you are enjoying the videos, please push like, just so that I can at least see that you know we're going in the right direction. Leave comments if you'd like to have me talk about any, any other parts of this journey so far. I'd be glad to make a video on it if I can, okay? So today I wanna talk about uh, the prayer. It says, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, okay? Courage to change the things I can and wisdom to know the difference. Now, Today I want to talk about the courage to change the things you can. We know we have to accept the things we can't change and we know that we have to get more wise as we go along to know the difference. But today the message is about healing. So therefore, there are some things we can change and that's what I want to talk about today. So I grew up in a, in a situation where I learned, looking back, that many energies wanted to attach to me for whatever reason. I was an athlete, I was pretty good at what I did, and went far with it, okay, as far as pretty much you can go. And I think because of the popularity there, it might have caused some sort of negative energies that were attaching to me with you know you know some jealousy as children or envious or whatever things like that also other people wanted to attach to me to become an extension of them about what they wanted you know I was very small I was very little and there were a lot of people around me I saw as very large <laughs> trying to control me I had lots of coaches you know I had family members strong family members etc so there was a lot of that issue with me so what I have learned this past week is that many things that happened that were not pleasant, and I'm sure you've all gone through this, where people have hurt you, they've disappointed you, they've detached from you, they've neglected you in some way, they held you back. Okay, now this is a big one for me. They held you back. They were holding on to you and pulling them away closer to them because they were afraid of your progress, of your growth. So my healing this week was to acknowledge that. I could see a bunch of people grabbing onto the back of me and just trying to pull me back, okay? I am unleashed now. I want you to know that there are, there are things you can do to detach from other people's energies, good or bad. There, it's time to find out who you are not about your surrounding energies. We know who they are, right? Because they want to take us over. But what about where our energies are? We got lost in that somehow. I have removed all energies at this point, okay? I don't have attachments. This is temporary. I will pick who I want to be attached to. In other words, it's not going to be attached to me. I'm going to choose my attachments for the future. That's taking your power back. And Basically, once you deattach to everything and everyone, you can do your healing because it's just about you. Not only that, it's about you and the divine. The universal everything, God. You and God can decide what's best for you. I work for God. And when he has a mission, believe you me, he's going to open that path for you and make it as easy as possible because that is his mission and you are abiding by him. So other people's energy is their problem. Why we take that on, I don't know. There's so many people with problems and they try to attach themselves to other people. And, and all we do is take on all that negative stuff. No. No, no, you don't want to do that. You want your energies, your life. This is your time. You're going to make it. You're going to outshine the world because it's your time. 
You deserve this. So please, do the work that's needed. Get to it where it's just about you. Do your self healing. Sit down with your hot tea. Sit down in the bathtub. Sit in nature. Sit wherever you gotta sit. Get wise and try to figure out who the heck you have become. As older people, people get lost in other people's lives, other people's energies, other people's stuff. Take your power pack. Learn who you are. Start being kind to yourself and get those needs met, finally. Okay? And then you can move on. And then you can become what you want to be and fulfill all those dreams that you had. I'm gonna play you a song, all right? It is called Spiritual. And it is hot off the press, other than the copyright office, right? But um, I hope you enjoy it. to get through it, right? <laughs> oh, the healing involved in that is just amazing. All of those notes hitting all the different places in the body. So anyways, you guys, hey, listen, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I have some plans this weekend. I'll be sharing with you next week. 
things are going very well over here and uh, I hope they are for you and if not please do a few steps this week there's so many things you can do to get started right exercise nature talking to God you know praying you know starting something healthy you know just something anything juice drinks and things like that things that you can do to start the ball rolling you know I've been on this mission now for God knows I mean it just seems to get better and better and that's why I want to share this with you because I know you can do it okay stay with me all right take a big breath slow everything down and I wish the best for you this weekend okay love you guys